Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are looking at the question number 14 on lead code which is called longest common prefix. It's classified as an easy problem, however this video is going to be longer than the others because I'm going to talk you through both the brute force solution and the optimal solution. If you don't want to watch my explanation, uh, please move to the second part of this video where I'm going to illustrate my optimal uh, solution code. So without further ado, let's move to the board now. So the first thing that we need to do guys is to understand, to understand the problem. So the question reads, write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of strings. All right, so let's take it from the beginning. So what is a prefix? A prefix is a part of one word. Uh, for example, in the word flower, a prefix can be F, a prefix can be FL, a, big, a prefix can be FLO, and etc. etc. So how are we going to work for that problem? The first solution that comes to my mind is the brute force solution. So for the brute force solution I'm going to use that red pointer here and I'm going to start with uh, that pointer pointing to the first element of the first string. After that I'm going to iterate through each individual string in the array and I'm going to check whether we have f and f. So if I get up in here, so we can see that here there is an F, here there is an F, there is an F, 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 and F. So in our answer, we can add F as the first letter of uh, the, co the longest common prefix. So moving on, what we need to do is we need to move that pointer to the second element of the first string. Let me erase that dot. Super. And we need to continue doing the same thing. So we check if in the second string the second element is an L, third string, fourth string, fifth, etc. etc. Of course, I, until, uh, until now, I think you can understand that there is a rabbit hole here because that requires two loops, aka it's, a pol it's, a, um, it's not a linear time complexity. Alright, so let's move again to the next element. So here we have an O. So moving on to the second loop, O. So here there is no O, so we break. And the final answer is FL. I'm not going to write the code for that brute force solution because that wouldn't be acceptable by the majority of the big companies out there. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to uh, explain you a more optimal solution that I have come uh, up with. So for this solution, uh, we've got our array of strings and uh, I'm going to work with groups. So uh, let's assume that for, for one moment that we don't have that array. We have an array of just single individual uh, letters. So let's say A, W, W, C, B, A. So if we short this array the resultant array will be, as you can imagine, A, A, B, C, W, W. So I hope that you have figured out the pattern here uh, with the grouping. So if we short, if we short the array, we take the elements that they are the same next to each other. So this way we can check if the first element and the last element of the array have the same common prefix. So instead of having a O and square solution, we're going to have just a linear solution. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is this is the, the given array, so not the working array. This is the given array. 
and this is the given array after a short operation. And uh, because it's, the, the sort is guaranteed to sort all the elements in that kind of patterns, I'm going just to take the first element and the last element and compare only these two. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with uh, po just pointers and I'm going to have the first string and the last string and also, let's say, the answer and uh, our current pointers and I'm going just to have a while loop classic while loop, I love while loops and uh, I'm going to iterate through uh, the first string and uh, in the while loop what we will need is to check, to break out of the while loop if there is a discrepancy between the first string of the array and the last string of the array. Otherwise we just add everything to the common prefix, to the longest common prefix, apologies. Alright, I hope that I haven't confused you so far. If I have, apologies, but let's move to the code and we'll see how that can be translated to just pure JavaScript. Alright, so as I said earlier, what we are going to do is, I apologize, I forgot to mention here guys that uh, if we do that one, uh, I'm sorry, I mentioned that it's going to be a linear execution. Linear execution will be only for the while loop, however we have um, we were not given with a sorted array and because we have um, executed the sort function from JavaScript that is going to give us big O of n log n which is not linear but it's not bad either guys compared to that one which will give us n square that's not efficient, that's a big x for me alright so, as I said, what we are going to do is we are going to have, uh, we are going to create the sorted array variable. And uh, the only thing that we need to do is, oh, sorry, it's strs sort. And after that, we are going to have, I'm going to actually work just with let here. So, that's the first string which is going to be sort array of 0 and that's the last string which is going to be sort array of sorry I misspelled something of sorted array dot length minus 1 ok so what we have done so far is we uh, got the array we sorted that and we have two variables. The first variable is the first string and the second variable is the last string of that array. And now we are going to use a pointer which is going to point initially at index 0 and uh, that's the result. Let's call it longest common prefix. That's just a string. Sweet. So let's move, off. Let's move to the while loop. So we are going to execute the while loop until the pointer is not out of bounds of the first string. Sweet. And now we need a basic, a basic condition where we will break out of the loop. And in order to do that, we can say that first string, first string of the pointer is different. I have misspelled something again. Just give me a moment. So first string of the po of the pointer is different than the first string of the. Pointer. That's not first string. Sorry, that's the last string because every time we compare the first string with the last string. So if I move back to the board now, what does that con condition mean? That condition mean. Uh, means that we will break out of the loop at the moment that there is a discrepancy between the first element and the last element. So in our case, we will break out when the pointer points 
to that element, element A, because it will compare A with Y, and uh, these are not the same strings, so we need to break out of the loop. Sweet. And the only thing that we need to do here is just break. Alright. Finally, we are going to store, I'm going to call it longest, in the longest common prefix, we are going to store the first point, the first string of the pointer and increase the position of the pointer. Sweet. And outside of the while loop, what we need to do is to return the longest common prefix. That's all I think. Let's run the code. Pum, pum, pum. So we pass that test case. I have added a few more things. Probably you will just have flower flow and flight. Uh, if I submit this code, all good. 60, 67 milliseconds faster than 94% of JavaScript. I'm happy with that. Hope, uh, hopefully, you are. That's all for the day, guys. If you like this video, please remember give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and, you, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it. It's free. Someone asked me uh, for the last video if I can post the annotated notes, and what I'm going to do is I will start uploading my annotations to my GitHub profile. So go to the description of this video, find my GitHub profile. If you want, give a start to the repo and you can find the annotated notes there. Alright, cheers guys, catch you in the next one.